Hello sunshines! Welcome to Bunny Fish Crafts. I'm your host Heather, known as Bunny Fish on Instagram, YouTube, and Patreon. Today is Monday the 6th of, yes, the 6th of June, 2022, and this is episode 20 for the year. So weird that it's like this far in the year already. How have you been? Are you doing well? I am doing pretty well. I'm sorry that May fell off a little bit, but before I get into current things, I do want to talk about May a little bit because I know not everybody watched the vlogs and that's totally okay, but I did do a fair amount of knitting last month, so I'm just gonna pop in some pictures here as I'm talking. I finished three, four, projects in May. Three, because these socks, I brought them because I need to photograph them. These socks, um, for one of my kiddos, I talked about last episode. Okay, so three projects that I need to talk about. First up is a pair of socks that I made for one of the kiddos, and I used the Partying Up and Getting Down sock pattern by Megan Williams. I hacked the pattern so that the up and down chevrons were both worked from a cuff down position because, did I finish those in May or did I finish those in April? I feel like I had a long chat about it with you. Huh. Well, I'm gonna put the picture here anyway, just in case it was May. Um, the, the yarn that I used for that was James C. Brett Fancy Feet and they are washed and blocked and good to go. So one kiddo sock, another kiddo sock done. Very exciting. So how many do I have left? Um, I only have two kiddo socks left for Christmas. Very exciting. I also finished a pair of socks for Patrick. I made the tumbling block socks. I don't remember who they're by. I'll put it on the screen and I used yarn that I don't remember. It was yarn from Haley. I didn't think about what the yarn was. Mostly I knit those on, um, I knit one sock pretty much. Did I? Am I telling stories now? Oh my gosh, why, why can't I think of things right now? This is why I could, couldn't do a monthly podcast. I could, I would have to take better notes. I could if I took notes. I did not take notes because I talked about it while I was doing it. So the tumbling black socks I made for my boyfriend and I ran out of yarn and had to use a little bit of the Barocco socks yarn to finish off the toes. And he likes them and he's worn them a lot. I think he's worn them like four or five days and I finished them on my birthday. So May 28th to June 6th, that's like eight, nine days. He's worn them a lot, he likes them a lot. So that's really exciting. And then I made a blanket for my friend's wedding. We went to Niagara Falls last month and it was so much fun. But we went to Niagara Falls as like a I want to say ancillary trip, but I don't know that that's right. That's just the word that's in my brain right now. I don't know if that's right or not. We were going to New York for my friend's wedding. We went, it was my birthday weekend, so we went to Niagara Falls because that's what I wanted to do on my birthday. I had never been to Niagara Falls before and it was so, so amazing. But on like April 29th, I got the idea that I had to make them a wedding blanket. Had to. Why? Why did I have to make them a wedding blanket? I don't know, but I did in three weeks. It is, um, it's quite big. I used 16 full balls of Cascade Super Cascade 220 Superwash Merino. And I had to use a little bit of a 17th ball to make the blanket. So that's pretty big because each ball is 220 yards so quite <laughs> quite the endeavor 
but totally worth it. I think it was so beautiful. My friend says she loves it and that's exciting. I did totally give her permission to over dye it or frog it and use yarn for something else, but she says she loves it, so awesome. Also, she lives in New York, so if, if she did do anything to it, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. So those are the three projects that I finished during the month. Let's talk about, oh, wait, before I get ahead of myself. I finished a blanket last month. Was it a blanket that I planned to finish during your year of the blanket? No. Is it still a blanket that I finished? Yes, so you know what that means. Year of the blanket prize. <gasps> I have not drawn yet, but I will insert a card right here of a winner. Yay, winner. I am so excited for you. So make sure to look at the screen, everybody, because I don't know who won yet. What will you win? Good question. Um, some mini skeins, maybe, if you want, or a small notion, like stitch markers or darning needles, something, something small. But contact me at bunnyfishraffle at gmail.com and we can discuss what sort of thing you would be interested in. If you're international, the prize will have to be something that I can post in a note card or something digital. So just keep that in mind if you're international because shipping prices are really, really extreme right now. So yeah, there's that. Oh, I'm so excited that I wrote myself a note to remember to do that because I've been thinking about it for almost two weeks that that was something that I wanted to do. Oh, the other thing that's administrative-ish is that All the Small Things is starting on June 18th. I have a whole video about it. I'll link it right there so you can find out the rules if you're new here. But if you're a veteran, it's all the same rules. And the hashtag will be right here. You don't have to use the hashtag, but if you want to on social media, absolutely do. I am super excited. I love all the small things. All right, let's talk about what I've worked on since I last checked in with you. Um, how do you wanna do this? Least exciting to most exciting? Okay. So first up is a sock for my nephew. Not very exciting so far. This is going to be a pair of aquarium socks by Patty Waters. And it's a paid for pattern. I I think it's gonna be really cool. I'm going to make my nephew some shorty socks because last year I made him a pair of longer socks and I know that he likes to wear wool socks all the time. So I think I'm gonna make these into shorties. Plus I've dipped into this yarn to finish at least one pair of socks, maybe two pairs of socks, I don't remember. So shorty socks it is. My nephew wears size 13. So since I've dipped into the yarn, I'm hoping shorties will let me knit the whole pair out of just this one ball. You can't see it yet, but it's going to have a cool cabled pattern. Um, yeah, it'll be really cool. It's not terribly exciting to look at, but it's fine. It'll be pretty. It'll be nice when it's done. So, oh, this yarn is Barocco Socks. I don't know the color. And all of my socks are knit on US size 0 2.0 millimeter needles because I am a loose knitter. Second thing, this is the string band hat. And I finished connecting the tube. So that's where the string part of string band will go. And now I am knitting the girder stitch section, which is not the most exciting thing ever, but will be so perfect when I go on field trips later this week. And it is good right now for when I'm walking at school and need some knitting. So like recess and when kids need a break and they need to walk. And this is what I'm picking up. So daily, it won't get a ton of progress, you can see. That's where I am from yesterday. I mean, 
It's not terrible progress though. That's four and a half garter ridges today. So yeah, not a ton of progress on the day today until I go on field trips, but still nice to have something that I don't have to think about or look at for work. So I'll continue to take that to work, but it's gonna get a lot of progress on Thursday because I'm gonna, we're going to the movies for a field trip. So perfect for in the dark knitting. And then the most exciting progress has been made on this blanket. This blanket that I am repairing because it had a giant hole in it. So here is, mm, I'm not in a great place. Class starts in 15 minutes. Okay, I am going to just knit all of these stitches really quick and come back to you. Okay, so part of the reason why I was stopped where I was stopped is because I ran out of yarn because I am ripping out the part of the blanket that I pulled off so that I can reuse this border yarn because the border yarn is mostly fine and intact. So yeah, I am ripping that out, but that means I'm getting different balls of yarn to do the border with, which again, is fine. So, look at this, ba ba. I have the first corner and I have started the second corner. That's what that is. That's the second corner right there. So, yay. I don't know that I'll be able to finish it this week, but I really, really think I can. I'm really gonna try to finish it by Saturday. Um, and knitting on it in my car at lunchtime worked really, really well. I just threw on an audiobook, and mostly I stopped because I needed to wind another ball of yarn. But now I have another ball of yarn, so I can knit on that. And yeah, the pattern is called Undercover by Beta Jessic. It's really, really lovely. So it's a hedgehog fibers pattern linked below. And I have made this baby blanket for, I think I've made it four times. Definitely recommend it. It's worked from the center out. Um, very intuitive. I like it a lot. And then I don't know if this is the border as written in the pattern or just something I made up. I don't know. I didn't check. Could be something I made up. Could be in the pattern. I don't remember. But it's just an applied garter stitch border. So yeah, there's the blanket. I'm excited with my progress. The other thing is that I finished listening to The Path of Daggers, which is the eighth book in the Wheel of Time series. I finished listening to that yesterday. And then today I started the ninth book. I don't remember what it's called. <laughs> I'll put in the screenshot here so you can see what it's called. I don't remember, but I'm sure it will be good. I'm just barely into it, maybe like 30 minutes in. So hardly started the book. And um, I read a little bit of Tale of Genji yesterday, like maybe 15 pages. And I read a page of The Chosen and the Beautiful and then I passed out. So not a lot on the reading front. Hopefully there will be more when I see you on Saturday and maybe I'll check in with you before then. Who knows? I don't. In the next, well, I'll see you in the next clip. Bye friends. Hello sunshines. Happy Sunday the 12th of June. Somewhere around there. How are you? It has been a good week. So I went on field trips Thursday. I went to the movies and saw Jurassic Park, which full disclosure, I am not a Jurassic Park person. When I was like little, I don't know, six or seven, we went to the drive-in. And do you remember those? I know that some places still have them, but we don't have one near us. And my dad used to put our sleeping bags on top of his van. So we watched the first movie and I liked that. And then I fell asleep in between the first and second movie. And the second movie was Jurassic Park. And I woke up to the T-Rex's face 
on the screen like yelling at me oh my gosh yeah so so yeah I just I don't do Jurassic Park sorry the windows are glaring all in my lenses it's a thing so anyway I don't love Jurassic Park but it was actually pretty good um yeah and then I went with fifth grade to Greenfield Village which is um like a historic thingy about an hour away from us so that was cool um and I have a little bit of footage from that I'll put it in at the end and then yesterday when I would normally record a little snippet at the yarn shop I forgot my phone at home I had all of my projects ready forgot my phone and I was like well it'll be fine I don't need my phone but anyway here I am and I'm going to tell you about the things that I've been working on um the one thing the baby blanket I finished it I finished the border but I don't have it right here right the second because it's in the wash like currently going through the washing machine well, first, I have made really good progress on my boyfriend's brother's hat. So I was here when you saw it on Monday. And this is what I did between Monday and Thursday. And then from here to here, as indicated by this marker, is what I did at the movies on Thursday. And then from here to here is what I did at Greenfield Village on Friday. So it was an excellent field trip knitting. So let's see how far I have to go. I want to go to my fingertips, so that's about two inches, an inch and a half. So really good progress on this hat. I think, <laughs> I think I can get this done by the end of this week. Um, because it would be nice to have this and, well, it would be nice to have this off of my needles going into summer break. Also, I can't tell if I like how it's pooling or if I don't like how it's pooling. I don't know. I've also worked on this sock a little bit, so I'm through the gusset. These are for my nephew, and I don't remember off the top of my head what this pattern is called, but I will put it right here. And the yarn is Broco Socks, so I'm in the gusset. I'm working my way down. It's going to be shorty socks. He wears size 13 shoes. So I would also like to have this first sock done by the end of the week. I think that's doable. I'm hoping it's doable. And then I'll just have the second sock going into summer. So we'll see. We'll see if I get those done. Um, I also started, I bought myself a Swiffer. Because I just wanted one. Because I got really tired of mops in general. So I really like the Swiffer, but I hate the disposable pads because environment and stuff. So I am making a cover for my Swiffer. I used to have a small collection of them. I don't know, probably three or four. A long, long time ago. Back the last time I had a Swiffer. But I only know where one is so I would like to make I don't know a few more I made this case for my daughter for her Chromebook when um, Chromebooks got sent home but she never uses it so instead of just letting this case go to waste and not being used for anything I am going to make Swiffer covers although looking at it oh, it's so pretty it's so pretty. So maybe I will make this first Swiffer cover and then make like a, a, a heating pad thing. Can't you make those out of rice or something? So maybe I'll sew one of those and put it in here and, you know, close it up that way. But then, you know, I'll still have a Swiffer cover out of, out of it. And I have other cotton. This just came across on my radar as something that wasn't being used. So yeah, that would be nice as a heating pad cover. 
I'll have to think about it. All right, friends, that's pretty much what I've got for you this week. I haven't really read anything, so no book stuff to go over. Not even Genji. I'm woefully behind. Oh, well, it's fine. I'll read more when summer comes. I know I will. So I will see you in about a week. Bye, friends.